KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. Community cases are climbing and contact tracers are racing to track more cases. Early there are three individuals that are hospitalized as a result of COVID-19. These three are unvaccinated individuals and all being actively monitored. The campaign to vaccinate ramps up. We are encouraging everyone to please get uh, vaccinated, unvaccinated individuals to get vaccinated against COVID-19. It is free, it is available. Uh, we're, hope, you know, we're trying to make it more accessible for everyone. The spike coming in a matter of weeks, leading public health to have what they describe as targeted vaccinations. Obviously, we're, we want to reach out to uh, anyone in a congregate living situation and try to uh, you know, encourage them to get uh, vaccinations. So we are going to be <laughs> literally knocking on their doors you know, and, and working with businesses as well, especially uh, with large employment. That we want to be able to try to reach out to them and see and, you know, what, what can we do about making the vaccinations more accessible. That effort comes along with school outreach. Public school students head back to campus on Monday, November 29. We are seeing hospitalizations for those that are unvaccinated. The ones that are vaccinated have mild symptoms. We also want to encourage anyone who's eligible after six months of, of getting their second dose to start looking at getting their boosters. Munya also stresses the need for honesty if positive cases are called. You know, we have individuals that are not providing adequate information or incorrect information, and that doesn't help because what we're seeing, these cases will continue to rise and we'll continue to see these cases spread. So it's not just about the clusters anymore. We're talking about individuals that are out there probably not knowing that they're, they're, they're infected. About 85% of the CNMI's eligible population is fully vaccinated. Tomas Manglotnya for KUAM News on Saipan.